We're going to um, try to uh, give you an update on setting up your program, which is the laser plugin for Corel Draw. You should have already loaded your plugin and you should have loaded Corel Draw. So what we basically do now, the plugin or the icon, it will come up with Laoching Laser and it'll look for the key, which is a dongle, and then it will look for Corel Draw and then it loads Corel Draw. Up on this right hand side here, these are the control panel for your plugin, which is the output for your laser machine. I will open a standard um, format um, of template that I use, which is because our, our machine is 400 by 300, this is a 400 by 300 sheet of paper basically, which is their work area. We have in that work area three layers. We have a marking layer, an engraving layer and cutting layer. And each one of those has this artistic text in here, which is 0.6 of a pixel. And it's on top of each other in this position here. Highlight it. They're all under that there. So they're on top and then that will locate all your items. Now, the first thing we basically do is when you open your software on your disk, you will find this set up here. So this is what's on your disk. Inside there, there's two PDF files here. One of them is the standard PDF file for setting up the whole machine. That works on all the older model Corel drawers, etc. And that's it, and the later one. So you have to use that one first. And the second one we use is for Corel 7, 8, later models versions of Corel. So we hit on the setup. You're basically going through this. You're following step by step, read the instructions, following step by step down the page. As you can see, this one here is ticking on the um, icon here. And inside that, you're setting the main board, the speed, the ratios, all that. Now, this goes on. This is about three pages or four pages here. Just set each one of these pages exactly the same as that. And you can see it'll tell you whereabouts that icon is. So this one's setting this icon here. The next one is setting this icon here. So just an example, we open that and there's all those. So you basically copy off the PDF, all those, make sure they're exactly the same as that, unless you've got a bigger machine, which is you know 600 by 400, that one's 600 by 400, but 400 by um, 300 will go in there, your page size, etc. So when we finished, okay, so when we finished um, putting all those pages in, we have set up the machine so it's set up for using the right plugin and the right um, software to go with the hardware. Now, Corel Draw a few years back changed some items and they made it so that when you use it, so these files here, these Windows Meta file, and also um, the other file is the uh, HP Laser Plotter was um, out and it wouldn't align. So this is what the second file does. We in use set up Corel Draw X7X8. So it's the same thing here. Just follow down the page every item and update these items here. And make them the same. So that when you go to um, use it, when you print or when you engrave and you mark and you cut, everything lines up on top of each other. Otherwise, you, you'll have creep and by the time you get to the from the top left hand corner down to the bottom left hand corner you're drawing some of the part segments you're drawing their marking and cutting this thing can be completely out by about what might be five or ten millimeters from the um from your um windows metafile part of it which is that is the did is the um is the bitmap type of side of it okay so we have that working and close all those. So once but all of those are set, the Corel laser is ready to use and you basically will just forward into there and you will start doing your drawings in here. This is a business card um, sample of um, the layers. So this card has an engraving layer, which is the dark black layer, it has a marking layer, which is the outline layer here. Now the difference between marking and cutting is just speed and power. So it usually runs faster at less power. Then you've got a cutting layer, which is the star, the um, veneer cut out here, and also the actual um, card itself. The way you can see them, if we turn them all off, 
we can see what's on each layer. So when we go, when we're engraving, we're engraving that. When we're marking, we turn the engraving one off. And we're now just marking that. And when we're cutting, we're just going to be cutting that. Now, in the top of each one of those corners is our um, index mark, which is a, a point, and it's a six, uh, usually a six point there on your size of your thing. So six points. Now, but that's on each layer. Now, if we open all of those, and when we're going to do our processing of the job, we do three separate layers because the machine will, will cut different speeds and different powers for different applications. So when we're engraving, we will probably do um, maybe 15% power at 250 millimeters a second. So we're going to do engraving now, and we can see in here we have a print icon. Now if we turn off the mark print icon and the um, cut print icon, we are now left with the engraving icon. So all it's going to engrave is what we know was going to engrave, which is the CTCC and C1. Okay, so we go up to engraving, which is here. Cut engraving there. Open, and it's set at 320. So we usually bring that around about 250. So that's 250 millimeters a second. It's engraving sunk it, so it's engraving into it. It's not trying to bring the CTC out. And uh, then... Um, we set the power on the machine. So then when we hit start, it will start cutting, it will start engraving that, which is a dot matrix printer running backwards and forwards at 250 millimeter second at say 15% power, engraving the black CTC CNC. Once that's finished, it will turn off and we, we'll be back to here. So then we want to mark it as our second one. So we turn off the engraving icon, off, the, leave the cut, cut one off and turn on the marking one. Now what it's going to do, if you just can't remember, you close the two eyes, that is what it's going to mark. That there. The cut, closing the eyes doesn't stop it printing it, so the only way to stop it printing it is to have the printer icon closed. So then we go into cutting, and as I said, cutting and marking are basically the same. So if we're cutting this one, say in 15, it might, you know, because it's quite small, I think I'd leave it at that. Normally you could cut, cut at 20 and you probably only need a, probably 10, 15% power. It's, it's depending on the material that you're, cut, that, you're, that you're cutting in. So basically you hit, it's going to outline around all those letters and it's going to mark them. Now, when we do cutting, we're doing the same thing, turning on the printer icon, turning off the other printer icons for the indifference, for the um, marking and engraving, leaving the cut one on and we'll drop the power We'll increase the power, create it might be 30%, depending how thick the material is, and we'll run the speed back down here, say to eight millimeters a second. I'll just change that to eight, hit start, and it'll start doing that. And that's basically it. Three layers, hit one or the after. While your um, marking, engraving, or cutting layer is, is happening, you can get in the next one ready. So if you're engraving first and you say, well, I'm going to mark it next, you can have that all ready. And as soon as it finished, you change, manually change the power and hit start and off it goes. And then while it's doing that, you can get it set up for the cutting layer as well. And as soon as it stops, change the power, hit it for the third layer. Um, this one here is a bit strange because that other, that one there is going to be cut on a bit of veneer. So this is all just cut out of a bit of 3mm MDF. And this one here is cut out of veneer. This is engraved deeply into that. So once we cut that a little bit of an area, we then can glue that into where it's cut out of here on the CTC part, and we'll have a raised CTC on our, on our MDF card. Okay, hopefully that's helpful.